Today we'll talk about the real and disturbing side effects of using weight loss drug injections. Ozempic and Monjaro are a class of diabetes medications which are now being used by over 9 million people to trigger weight loss artificially. These drugs mimic hormones like GLP-1 which is supposed to slow down how quickly the food leaves your stomach. The idea is that it helps to kill your appetite so that you feel full for longer and you don't need as much willpower to lose weight. What they don't tell you is how dangerous these things can be to your long term health. Today I'm going to break down what it actually does in your body, the risks and also some natural alternatives. Well it starts with pancreas problems. These weight loss drugs are GLP-1 agonists. Essentially they're forcing your pancreas to produce more insulin, especially after meals. This is the hormone that helps to balance blood sugar and reduce cravings, making it easier to lose weight. But unfortunately long term it can exhaust the beta cells in your pancreas, actually increasing insulin resistance and the risk of diabetes type 2. One study also showed a 9 times increased risk of pancreatitis when using Ozempic. And then there's delayed stomach emptying. As I said these injections are designed to slow down your digestion, keeping your stomach fuller for longer so that you're less likely to binge and overeat. But in reality it often causes chronic nausea, bloating, constipation and even vomiting undigested foods hours and hours after eating. This is actually a condition called gastroparesis which sometimes doesn't go away after using the drug. Muscle loss and nutrient malabsorption. By suppressing your appetite many people end up undernourished and deficient in things like protein, B12, iron and other minerals. This can often lead to muscle loss so you may think that you're losing a lot of weight but you could actually be losing your longevity organs which are your muscles. So if you're a person who is extremely overweight and you decide to use these drugs I would suggest doing more strength training and getting enough protein to mitigate this risk. And then there's another thing with the broken metabolism. Many people do find that they lose a lot of weight when using the drug but their brains often become reliant on this artificial signal to stop eating. This leads to more rebound binge eating, more hunger and more fat regain and less metabolic flexibility after you come off the drug. Essentially you're training your metabolism that it needs this diabetes drug to function properly which is not good at all. And digestive disruption is also an issue. It's not just your stomach that slows down, bile flow from the liver, enzyme release and gut motility can all change causing constipation, indigestion and an increased risk of gallstones. And it doesn't stop there, there's also brain problems. High insulin levels created by these medications may cause insulin resistance in the brain over time as well. This can cause constant fatigue, dizziness and brain fog because brain cells aren't able to accept fuel as well. Eye problems. Many many people who are taking these drugs report having more blurred vision and pressure behind their eyes. I can tell you what's happening is the high level of insulin triggered by the drugs can actually damage the tiny blood vessels and the nerves in the eyes unfortunately. And we also have kidney problems. By forcing your pancreas to make more insulin it can also strain the small filters in the kidneys increasing the risk of high blood pressure over time. So what can you do instead? As you can see I'm very against using diabetes drugs to fix obesity. It's not practical and it leads to long term dependency on drugs and medication. Instead I would suggest solving the same problems that you are having but using a more natural approach. So problem number one is that you're hungry all the time. So rebuild your metabolism by eating at least 90 to 120 grams of protein daily by eating more high quality sources like eggs, chicken thighs, salmon, Greek yogurt and unprocessed whey protein shakes. Protein is deeply satiating and it turns off the hunger switch naturally by boosting the satiety hormone called leptin. 
The second main problem people have is that they just can't stop craving those junk foods. This tends to happen when blood sugars spike and crash too often, because of insulin resistance. So instead of taking a drug that was designed for diabetes, try to help control your blood sugars naturally. Drink one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, quarter of a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt and freshly squeezed lemon juice in a glass of water every morning. You can also include cinnamon, berberine and chromium supplements which will all help to balance your blood sugars naturally and minimise those cravings. Problem number three, I store fat around my belly. Belly fat is driven by stress, poor sleep and insulin resistance, not just what you're eating. I recommend taking 10 minute walks after meals to lower blood sugar and to help shrink visceral fat. Combine that with some magnesium glycinate at night to calm down your nervous system and support better fat burning overnight. Another problem that you may have is that I'm always tired and I'm always unmotivated. You're not lazy, your mitochondria simply isn't outputting enough energy or you're burnt out from stress and being overworked. So I suggest starting your day with sunlight, movement and cold showers to kickstart your metabolism and also consume nutritional yeast flakes daily for B vitamins that will boost energy. Problem number five, I never feel full even after I've eaten. This one is a sign that your gut brain connection is a bit out of sync. Start eating slower. Chew your food 20 to 30 times to help restore hormone signaling like GLP-1 and CCK naturally without the need for drugs. Digestive enzyme supplements or eating fermented foods like sauerkraut or kimchi can gently slow your digestion to make you feel full without needing a drug. And another problem is when people say that they don't see results from dieting anymore. You see, dieting on and off too many times causes metabolic adaptation, where your body is conserving energy as body fat as a survival technique. So start weightlifting and doing resistance training three times per week to build up your muscle. This can take your body out of the fat storage mode. Natural coenzyme Q10 supplements can also help to reset your metabolism and I created another video on a natural herb called berberine which is known as nature's ozempic and I've put that up on your screen now. Thank you so much, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.